India's external affairs minister, Sushma Swaraj, uh, is meeting the families of 27 out of 39 Indians who were killed in Mosul by the so-called Islamic State. The families of 27 victims are in New Delhi. 26 of these families have come from the Indian state of Punjab, while one family has arrived from Himachal Pradesh. Remember, Swaraj had announced in the upper house of India's parliament on the 20th of this month that all the 39 missing Indians in Mosul are dead. They were killed by the so-called Islamic State. This after they went missing in 2014. Previously, the Minister of External Affairs has met with the family members of the victims on two occasions, once in June 2014 and the second time in July last year. We have with us this little boy who's come all the way from Punjab and he has something to say. The little kid says he wants his father back. This is a loss which is irreparable. And here he is in New Delhi today to meet uh, Sushma Swaraj, the External Affairs Minister, to get some answers as to what happened to his father and uh, when will his mortal remains come back to Delhi. This is Jessica Taneja with video journalist Ankit Singh for Beyond in New Delhi. And Jessica Taneja of Farlet Report joins me now live from outside the MEA in New Delhi. Good evening, Jessica. What are you hearing about the possibility of that much anticipated meeting between the families and the Minister Swaraj in this case? And also, what are the families having to say about this entire controversy? Well, Ramesh, uh, yes, we are outside uh, the External Affairs Ministry and the meeting is going on between uh, the families of the victims as well as uh, the minister right here inside. It has been going on for about an hour or so and uh, they had some questions that they want to be answered as soon as possible. It's been quite some time when the news broke out that uh, their uh, family members, the ones who were captured in Iraq in the Badoosh jail in Mosul, haven't, uh, have in fact died. It's, it's, that's the news that came uh, to them through the External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj earlier, uh, that, uh, you know, previous week. So now, they, when I spoke to them, they said that they had some questions. They wanted to know when will the mortal remains of their, of their family members be brought back to India. Also, they were looking for some sense of, sort of, sort of closure as to what really happened to them. So, of course, the, the discussion and the meeting is still going on and we're expecting the family members to come out of uh, the gates here very soon. Also, Jessica, very quickly, what's their main grouse? Is it that the minister did not inform them before she addressed the parliament or did, did she mislead the families all these uh, years? Well, it's difficult to say, Ramesh, they didn't speak out on this much. Well, I spoke to one of the sisters who lost her brother in Iraq. Uh, he, he was among the 39 missing Indians there. And the sister, Gurpinder Kaur, told me that, uh, of course, she was anguished and also a bit angry as to why she and her family members were not told in person as to what happened. Why wasn't the meeting done with them before the entire world would know through television uh, news medium? And uh, she did say that this is not something that she expected. She's also looking for closure and she is in fact leading the entire delegation of families who have come here to meet the minister. And they all seem to agree with her that they want some answers. And particularly not because of, uh, you know, misleading them. And they still trust the government with that as this is exactly what they told me. But uh, they're still looking for some answers and answers to very serious questions as to what happened to those uh, Indians that went missing there, their family members, of course, even if they were the only bread owners of the family, that does not, you know, uh, forget the question of what really happened to them in, in uh, that Badoosh jail and how did they die. So, of course, that particular closure, a lot of questions here need to be answered. And once they come out, hopefully we'll speak to them and Ramesh will be able to tell our viewers as to what was told to them in this meeting. All right. On that note, Jessica, thank you so much for joining me on Beyond Dispatch.